Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, for for you, at least for you to notice, or for any patient to notice that the urine production is decreased, uh, the the damage has to be pretty bad for you to actually notice it because the produ production of urine um, varies very uh, a lot from one patient to the other. Of course, mm -hmm. certain patients produce uh, somewhere between one liter to uh, more than that a day, 1.2, 1.3. Some others produce 800 milliliters, something like that. We do have a number that we know it's uh, an indicator of um, kidney damage, but it's very difficult for a patient to actually measure this because it will, he or she would have to pee in a container and actually measure it. Of course, uh, this uh, would be measured by hour. That's another thing. So of course you have to collect urine for 24 hours straight and divide it by your weight and by some other variable. So we as doctors we do it and of course we mostly do it in hospitals when, when patients are already hospitalized uh, that it's easier for us to measure this. So there is a way but it's a little complicated for, for a patient to do it. Uh, there are other indicators of kidney damage that of course patients will notice first, like I was saying, number one is uh, your feet. When they start getting swollen, and for example, your socks, they leave the mark of your socks, that's when you, you should start wondering, maybe I'm retaining some fluids. And the same with the face, that you wake up in the morning with a very puffy face, like your eyes are closed, and then as you start peeing, then your, uh, your face starts getting rid of these liquids, that's also a very good indicator, more than simply uh, the, the amount of urine you're having. Of course, this is important, but it will, it will appear in a very late stage.